All right, hey everyone. Um, first thing that I encourage you to try to learn and when you start learning all these bones of the skeleton is just the names of the major bones of the body. So here I've got a typical skeleton here. Uh, we can kind of start up here. So you'll have the sternum that makes up the uh, breastbone, right, or the chest plate. That's the sternum, those are connected to the ribs. The collarbone right here, that is called the clavicle. And the clavicle is gonna extend out laterally and connect to the shoulder blades, which are called scapula, or the shoulder blade is called the scapula. Um, then it kind of leads us to the upper arm. The humerus is the bone of the upper arm. The forearm is composed of two different bones, the radius and the ulna. The radius is lateral, all right? So the anatomical correct position is palms forward. The radius is gonna be low on the lateral side, ulna is gonna be on the medial side. Another way to remember it is the radius connects to the thumb side of the wrist and he's larger at the wrist, whereas the ulna is smaller at the wrist, larger at the elbow. And he connects on the pinky side. The bones of the hand or the wrist are collectively called the carpals. Those are connected to the bones of the palm, which are the metacarpals, and the bones of the fingers, which are the phalanges. Okay, um, we're gonna have the vertebrae, which extends downwards. You have the cervical vertebrae of the neck, the thoracic vertebrae of the chest or behind the chest, and then the lumbar vertebrae uh, right here. This is gonna connect to the pelvis. The pelvis is consisted of three different bones. You're gonna have the ilium, which is more superior. You're gonna have the pubis, um, which is more anterior and inferior, and then the um, ischium, which forms um, the kind of the posterior and inferior part of the pelvis. All these bones kind of meet together and fuse at this little cavity where the hip sits. That's called the acetabulum. The uh, upper leg is composed of the femur. Um, this connects to the kneecap, which is the patella. The lower leg uh, consists of two different bones, which is the tibia on the medial side, the fibula, which is smaller on the lateral side, and then that, those connect to the bones of the ankle or the foot. Those are called the tarsals. The long bones make up the top of the foot as you extend out distally. Those are the um, metatarsals. And then finally, the phalanges. If we turn this guy around on the posterior side near um, the base of the spine, that's where you have the sacrum. Those are five fused vertebrae. And then the vestigial tail is the coccyx. And... I think that's about it as far as the major bones. So try to start with those, and once you get a good grasp on, on those guys, then start learning the details that we'll talk about related to the details of the tibia and um, the, the humors. Thanks.